What's going on everybody? So new milestone sets have been added into Mutt 17. It pretty much gives your players, the individual players that you see listed here, additional traits. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, you're gonna get more hot routes with your quarterback, the big hitter trait with, you know, Cam Chancellor. Somebody gonna get, yo, bro, somebody gonna get their, their chest ripped open and their heart's gonna be on the field when they get a hit with that attribute from Cam Chancellor. You already know he's a big hitter already. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna be laying it out weekly and even if you're a guy that's you know that doesn't like to play solos, you're gonna have to to get these collectibles. I like that they're letting everybody like listen, bro. You're gonna have to play the computer. We're gonna make you do it. I like that. Because everybody's running around spending mad cash, no grind needed at all. You know what I'm saying? But this first challenge right here, you had to get 30 completions. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna jump right into it at towards the end. Pretty much just run slants. Okay? Come out and single back, um, single back ace and just run slants. Somebody is always open. That's all I did, bro. Continuous slants, continuous slants, continuous slants. All right. Um, you know, every now and again, I'll give you guys tips for the grinders out there because you know, grinding is my thing. You know what I'm saying? I could easily spend the cash, but then I'll then I'll be like after I spend the cash and I realize I got three bronzes and not even a gold in a pro pack. I might have to do bat, you know what I'm saying? I might have to do bodily harm to myself and stuff. So I just try to stay away from buying packs. But it, for me, it's always about when you work for something, it just means that much more. Like, even though a lot of guys spend a lot of cash and probably has very, very bad pa uh, pack luck, it still would be to me like I'm cheating if I just bought packs to get, you know, to up it up. And plus, I told you guys, when you grind, you get your game up because even though this is pro and it's like slow and everything is like a different type of game speed, the computer cheats all the time. I could go back to when Madden was on Sega Genesis, bro. The computer just cheats. They just do things that are ridiculous. I know everybody that watched this video had something where the computer, they played a solo and you had the computer beat deep, but then they ran in front of you. You had a beat by 10 yards. They ran in front of you to pick the ball. If that hasn't happened to you yet, you haven't played Madden. And I don't want to hear anything you got to say. Everybody knows the computer cheats. So, and that's the beauty of the game. It's always been consistent with that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I'm trying to tell you guys right now, a lot of guys try to overthink things. Don't overthink it. Run slants. Even if you want to run screenplay, stuff like that, whatever makes it easier, just hurry up offense. Now, the fatigue is an issue in this game, and that's supposed to be patched in the first patch. Um, according to EA sources, um, it's like a bug that's going on in the game where your, your, your starters don't ever come out for subs and, and everybody's just dead tied on the field. Um, that'll be fixed shortly uh, once the new patch comes out. They have already fixed the uh, run pass glitch, so thank you for that. Um, but as far as the fatigue, even though they get really, really slow right now, you can still do it with the quick slants. The quick slants are very, very simple to do. So definitely do that. Make sure that that's the way you run it. If you want to get through it simple, if you want to waste time, you know, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do right there, that was supposed to be a hot dot, but it was batted down. They should have picked it. I wanted them to pick it. Why did I throw that, bro? Like sometimes I look at it and I'm like, why would I ever make that read? And I realize why well, I'm getting blown out, but it's all good though. Don't, don't really worry about it, man. Um, the bottom line is this, you're going to run slants, you're going to get all that stuff done, and your coach is going to be mad happy, and you're going to get your 30 completions, and then you're going to get your first milestone. Now, you need several milestones to complete certain things. You understand? Like, this is a milestone that you get for that. Completing the 30 passes, you're going to get this milestone. But when you go to the set, you're going to need several of them. You know what I'm saying? For either Aaron Rodgers or Eli Manning, whatever one you choose to do, I personally would go with uh, Aaron Rodgers because overall, he's just the better quarterback. But it's whatever. If you're if you're a New York Giants fan, to be honest with you, Eli is pretty efficient. I've played against Eli in salary cap rank. Dude throws dots and runs faster than Mike Vick in 2004. So I don't really understand, um, you know, where we go with that. Right here, we're going to go allow. You can't allow five rushing yards on three plays. What was it? Is that what it said? I don't even know what it said, but I'm giving you guys real time, um, you know, stuff that I did here. I'm just, you know, I didn't record it live because I was actually doing stuff in my house. So I'm like, all right, let me just do this. Let me just get the recordings down and then I'll come back and I'll put the voiceover on it. But usually I'm just gonna do the voiceover for you guys whenever I decide to put out these tips. And um, a lot of guys have been sending me messages asking me, you know, can you show how you do this? Can you show how you do that? So every now and again, I'm gonna try to help you guys out uh, as much as I can because some of you guys uh, that sent me messages, you guys just grind it out. You just do it for the beauty of your team um, and to complete all the solos. So, if that being the case, you just need a little bit of guidance to like do certain things. I have no problem doing that from time to time, but uh, I'm gonna be putting out a lot more head-to-head -head gameplays because that's what my real guys that's been with me since the beginning want to see. So I gotta actually, you know, I gotta give give and take a little bit so everybody gets a little bit. But a lot of guys that are new to Madden have been asking a lot of questions, and I don't want to make it seem like I'm ignoring the guys that, that that are asking like, yo, how do you do this? How do you do that? Because other guys don't answer. So I'm gonna do the best. You know, do my best to do it. Okay, so we, we didn't allow five yards on whatever amount of plays that they had. So we're going to get another uh, milestone right here. 
And that's pretty much what you gotta do, guys. All these milestones, I'm gonna tell you this right now, you shouldn't have to repeat it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's pretty much very, very simple. All of them, getting them done, so you really shouldn't have to repeat, uh, uh, what, did I say repeat? You shouldn't have to repeat any of them. Um, right here, I'm just going to show you the actual rushing touchdowns. There's no need for me to show you, you know, my offense, how I get the ball in the red zone. But once you get the ball in the red zone, bruh, run it in. You know what I'm saying? Running the ball. Make sure you have a decent O-line. My whole offensive line of heroes, um, they do block a lot better than the bums that I had in that were just regular goal cards. But they give up more sacks, if that makes any sense. Like, if you drop back to pass, which is... Uh, uh, one of the realistic fields that they were looking for in Madden 17 anyway. For the drop back, it's more likely for you to get sacked in Madden 17. Very realistic. So they let them around anyway. So don't think that that's going to save you because you have a better offensive line. They're going to still come around the edge and they're going to take care of your business. Here goes another uh, collectible for the milestone. And like I said, that one goes to, I believe, Emmett Smith. So you can go down the line and see all the players that are available and decide what you want to upgrade. But this is actually very, very good because this is the first this is the first year in a long time where oh my god pick that okay so listen you had to, in four plays right for this he threw a pick on the first play i ran several plays that you're not seeing right now and then i went for two on my fourth play so this solo is going to end just so you're not like what the hell happened he threw a pick if he throws a pick that still counts as one play so it's over you just got to not make him do whatever in four plays that's all you got to do whatever they say here what is this you can't allow 10 passing yards or less in four plays so the, the plays still count you just if you get a pick so just so you know that but um yeah this madden a lot of the attributes that ha haven't mattered in a very very uh long time in madden it matters right now this year's madden which is that's something that i really really like so make sure you guys are looking for specific attributes i wanted to add this in here just to show you that moss action is still alive and well okay i'm gonna moss somebody uncontrollably the next time i play head to head because i realize now you can moss people uncontrollably but it's a specific way how you moss them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the moss action up. For you guys that are returning subs, you guys know what I mean by that. If you guys are just new and you're just coming in right now, welcome to the G Miles World family. Go check out some old Madden 16 vids, Madden 15, 13, 25, and get accustomed to what you're gonna expect here at G Miles World. So that one's over. We gained 400 yards. It took me, I, I guess, the four quarters or something. I don't know how long it was, but I just kept throwing deep bombs and bruh, just outrunning the computer. And uh, that's pretty much what happened with that. So here goes the, the final one. Uh, intercept the CPU twice. What I'm going to tell you guys is this. You're going to want to come out and don't rush any more than four people. Don't don't try to sack them because if you try to sack them, it's not going to work. You see what I'm saying? I'm sending... Well, how many guys are there? Is that five guys that's not doing anything? Bro, whatever. But he throws it up and it's a pick. And then I, I keep playing coverages like that to give the computer a chance to make a read. And then you just got to be able to click on and whole triangle. So don't really blitz them heavy because they don't really throw the ball away. You see what I'm saying? Like they really run around like, like they have no common sense for mad long and just do dumb shit. And then they throw a pick. So that's the way that you're going to want to do that. So that's all of the first milestones that are available. They're going to be releasing them weekly. Definitely upgrade your players if you want to be more competitive on the Madden scene. And like I said, this is a tutorial to help most of the guys that are showing you the gameplay. Subscribe. G Myers World. One love.